Okay, this is the hard castle classification of Liz Frank fracture dislocations, and it's a difficult one. You're going to have to practice this over and over, okay? But it's important because Liz Frank injuries are very high yield, very bad injuries. You need to know this and you need to know their classifications, okay? So, um, in essence, if I could sum it up, it's A, B, and C from best to worst injury, okay? A is all metatarsals are dislocated, okay? B is one or a uh, few of the metatarsals are dislocated and C is uh, divergent so they're split down the middle in any form or fashion okay um, now you need to know that uh, type A's are called total incongruity A1 is all metatarsals go lateral A2 is all metatarsals go medial okay now type B is it called a partial incongruity now um, in B1, you get a partial medial displacement of the first metatarsal with, with or without combinations of the second through fourth metatarsal. So um, uh, any number of the lesser metatarsals, as long as it's not all, five, all four of them, um, will be Bs, and a, specifically a B1. A B2 is a partial lateral displacement of uh, the one or more of the lesser metatarsals. So, if the first metatarsal is involved with some of the lesser metatarsals, it's a B1. If it's just the lesser metatarsals, 2 through 4, it's a B2. Okay? Now, in C, it's divergent. So, in any case, the first metatarsal is, de is dislocated medially, and any number of the lesser metatarsals are lateral. So, the best case scenario is only a few of the lesser metatarsals are lateral. The worst case is C2, where all four of the lesser metatarsals are lateral, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, you need to compare this to the Keanu and Cusk classification, which I made in uh, another video, which is an easier classification system. So if you're asked about uh, this Frank classification, start with the Keanu and Cusk. It's easier. The hard castle is harder. So don't go there unless you have to, okay? Um, also, you need to compare that... Uh, they're very similar, but don't mix up that uh, Keanu and Cus describes A's as homolateral, B's as isolateral, and C's as divergent. Whereas here, in Hardcastle, they describe A's as total incongruity, B's as partial incongruity, and similarly, C's are still divergent, okay? So just a little different terminology there, all right? Um, in addition, you need to know the high yields of Liz Franks. Um, there is the flex sign, which is just a little uh, ossification that avulses between the first and second metatarsals. You also need to know that there is no ligamentous connection between the first and meta second metatarsals, okay? The first metatarsal is connected to the uh, middle cuneiform, okay? And the Liz Frank uh, uh, ligament has three parts, dorsal, middle, and plantar. Now, another high yield is that the most common, this, the most common uh, dislocation uh, either dorsal or plantar is dorsal. And why is that? It's because the dorsal ligaments of the tarsal metatarsal joints are the weakest. So often the metatarsals will pop up dorsally, okay? Other than that, this is uh, pretty much all the high yields. Um, and you'll just need to repeat this over and over to get this one down, but the images display it pretty well.